Hey guys, thought you might be interested in this one. This gentleman here is making water buckets by hand, as you can see. He started by gluing segments of wood together to make the circular cylindrical shape. And now he's hand filing and cutting the bucket to make it smooth and circular on the outside and on the inside. So a couple of things you might be interested in here. One is, if you watch the way he's using that plane, you'll notice that it's cutting as he pulls it towards him. So a lot of you guys would be used to planes that you push to cut, whereas he's actually using a Japanese plane where you pull to cut. And you'll notice later when he uses a saw, that Japanese saws are the same, that you pull to cut. So for people that actually try to use them that haven't used them before, they find them really difficult because if you're used to pushing to cut and you have to pull, it's a totally different thing. So the other thing you might be interested in is this gentleman is 84 years old. So as you can see, a very fit and healthy 84 year old gentleman sitting there on his cushion cutting up his, his wood and making water buckets. And of course he has to do a good job because as you can imagine any sort of gap at all and it's going to leak isn't it so quite an amazing thing to watch here goes the reversing cut saw pull the cut so these buckets are the sort of style that usually you'd see in an old bathroom so when people sit on the floor and pour water over their head um, sometimes a style like this they'll be used for other things as well of course but they do get used for that as well. A beautiful smell in this room from that wood as he was cutting it up. It's actually quite aged wood apparently. He said that the new wood's not so good, it's too porous. So nice old wood like this apparently is the best stuff for it. And it gave off a beautiful smell. Quite an amazing scene, isn't it? Anyway. We hope you enjoy that. More videos coming soon.